Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Into the Dark Room, and this video is going to show you how to install some products on your new membership account. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the Add Products button, and we're going to go ahead and click that. You'll see that we have all our products listed here, and you can organize them and sort them in this top category here. I'm going to click Websites, because the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is install a website. So all of our websites come up, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to find a website to install. I'm going to install this Saren. You'll notice that I can either install it or I can see the demo so I can see what the product looks like. I'm going to click install here and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a nickname. So I'm going to title it Weddings Website and I'm going to leave it in the default domain. If I have set up another domain like a .com that I've added to this account I'd be able to use this drop down to change that. But You can see right now it's going to be installed here at the default domain and I'm going to click install now. What it's doing now is it's taking all the files and it's putting them in place so that you can start using them. And once this is done, it's going to take us to the area that's called My Products. So it's already jumped us over there. And you can see that we've installed this Weddings website. Here, This is where it's installed. This is the product name. And this is the date that I installed it. What I'm going to do now is go back and I'm going to add a few more products. So I'm going to go back to Add Products. And I'm going to find a blog to add. So I'm going to go ahead and add the Saren blog, and I'm going to click install, and I'm going to I'm going to nickname this uh, my blog, and I'm not going to install it right at the root of this default uh, domain. I'm going to go ahead and add a folder. So I'm going to go ahead and add this folder called blog. Then I have to choose a database. So since we're installing a WordPress database, if you haven't installed the database yet, you just go ahead and nickname one. So you're starting a new one. If you've already installed one and you want to use that one that you've installed, um, you go ahead and use this drop down here to select it. But since we don't have any, I'm going to go ahead and just nickname this one my blog. You could also use the date, which is a good way to uh, name your database. Now you can see that I'm installing this product here at the default domain forward slash blog and I'm going to click install now. What this is doing is this is setting up all the WordPress stuff uh, and it's doing all the heavy lifting for you. So it's really taking away all the hard stuff that uh, makes database creation difficult. So it's doing all this for you. And again, once it's done, it's going to take us right to the uh, My Products page. And now you can see that it took us to the My Products page. Uh, it, you can see the blog that we just installed. You can see that this one the website is installed at the default domain and the blog is installed at the default domain forward slash blog. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to install one more product. So I'm going to click add products and I'm going to pick one of our applications. I'm going to install Ruby. So I'm going to go ahead and click install. I'm going to just title this slideshow and I'm going to go ahead and put in a folder called slideshow. And then I'm going to click install now. Again, it's taking all the files and it's putting it into that folder. And when it's done, it's going to take us right to the My Products page. So now you can see we have the website that we installed, the blog that we installed, and the slideshow that we installed. Uh, everything is there. If you just want to keep adding products, you go back to the Add Products and you can go ahead and add them. And in future videos, we're going to show you how to manage these products. 